Coming up this week, I get to swim with turtles. We explore the Ningaloo by boat. And snorkel the most incredible coral reef. And we get to witness turtles nesting on the beach. Well, g'day, Van Fam, and welcome back to another episode. This week, we are at the famous Osprey Bay, and have a look at it. It is absolutely sensational. The kids are out there swimming and just living their best lives, and we've had a spate of incredible weather. It's hot weather, but it, Yeah, we've been lucky. <laughs> but it hasn't been blowing its ass off. It's been absolutely sensational. So, um... Osprey Bay is one of the more convenient camps that you can do here on the Ningaloo. It's, it's what, about 70, 80 k's back to Exmouth? About an hour. Mel reckons it takes about an hour because you only do 80 k's an hour on your way out here. But it's um, bitumen. It's bitumen. The whole way. You get here with a two-wheel drive. Yeah. And so it makes it quite convenient to go back because we've got a few more camps booked along, but they're much further down and they're going to be a bit harder to get to. So Osprey Bay and um, some of the other ones. What are some of the other ones? Courageong. Courageong in those Pizza ones. and Mesa. Those ones, they're much closer to town, which is quite convenient. But yeah, we've had so much fun out here at Osprey Bay that we actually forgot to vlog our weekend. We've just been, the snorkeling here and every other place along the way down has just been on steroids. We've just been having too much fun. Like we just can't get wait to get in the water. So this week for something different. We're still going to share what we got up to here on a day at Osprey Bay. But the only caveat to that is it's a working school day. So <laughs> let's get straight into this episode and share what we got up to. It's a good one. Well, good morning guys. As you can probably tell, it's a school and work day. But before we get into work today, I'm going to go for a swim. With turtles! I'm just about a one minute walk from camp. It's not the most spectacular reef out here, but there's tons of seagrass, which brings in the turtles, which means you can go swimming with turtles. start your work day so hey guys I thought I'd offer a little neat tip have a bucket of water 
at the door so you can clean your feet before you get into the caravan. That way the van will mostly stay sand free. <laughs> We humbly beg we may build our homes on your lovely My darling, how was your swim? Oh, it was amazing. How's school? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. The kids are up today, so we can go out and explore today, which is awesome. Well, guys, um, what can I say other than I think we've stuffed up our season in the Nung Ningaloo. The Nungaloo? The Ningaloo. It is hot. It is extremely hot. I'll put a little um, screenshot up here and show you the weather forecast. It's in, the, it's in the low 40s, which is uh, pretty excruciating. When you're on the beach and in the water, it doesn't feel so bad, but unfortunately, we have to do three days of school and work. Poor Mel's sitting on a uh, towel. towel, so she doesn't leave a big <laughs> sweat pile on the bed. None of us want to wear shirts, so that's why we put um, towels on the back of the couch as well. It's just so hot. Poor old Starlink's overheating, so I'm running a fan <laughs> on it. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to run that fan on us, but yeah, the old Starlink modem's getting really hot. But um, as I said, when Mel came in from her swim, we're actually up to date. Kaylee's ahead, Owen's up to date, so we don't have to do any more school. I'm obviously going to do a little bit more school with them this week because we prefer to be a little bit ahead rather than just up to date or even behind. But we're going to take advantage of the fact that we're ahead. We're going to go out. We're going to take the um, inflatable, which I've set up, and we're going to go out and we're going to go do some snorkeling. We'll take that inflatable out to some of those kayak moorings and we'll go and show you what sort of snorkeling you can get up to here at um, Osprey Bay. Well, unfortunately, Mum's going to have to <laughs> stay here and heat. work in the heat. Yeah, I'll just cool myself down, eh? <laughs> Shut down the kids' computers. We're going to take our True Clip inflatable out to the kayak moorings for a snorkel. Kids excited for that? Yeah! But before we head out, I just got to uh, attach the pump on and bring all the tubes up to the right pressure. This is the little cheats way I've discovered that I can move the inflatable around short distances. We're going to go for a little drive around there to the beach to put the boat in. So it's probably about 200, 300 meters and yeah, this is doing the trick. Saves me carrying it the whole way. We're all tied up at one of the kayak moorings. We're ready to jump in and check out some of this epic Ningaloo snorkeling. We 
don't even have to jump in the water to check it out. The water clarity is just so incredible today. What a beautiful day. Uh, it's just about lunchtime though, so we're going to slowly make our way back in, drifting over this coral, letting the kids check it all out, and then um, cook up a bit of lunch. Hi, Mum. How's work? Hot. <laughs> I'm like sweating. <laughs> you want some lunch? I'd love some lunch, please. We came back to get some lunch. <laughs> the snorkeling was insane. Oh, made me jealous. <laughs> Sorry. Have you been? You've seen it. It's not that she didn't go out and see it, it's just that we're just filming today, which is a work day. Lunch today is Old Faithful, which is sausages with a bit of coleslaw on a wrap. This one's not a bad little budget meal that we do a lot. What are you laughing at? What are you scoffing at? <laughs> it's just, it's so hot, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, honey. Thank I you. appreciate you working hard for <laughs> us. Thank you, darling. And Owen doesn't like coleslaw, so he gets a sausage with a bit of tomato sauce. Thank you. And one for you, sweetie. Thanks, you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Get some lunch eaten and then we can get back out and chill out by the water. Out of the heat, except for this one. Sorry again. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you, you're so sweet. Bye mum, we're going to go out and enjoy this beautiful weather. Oh, have fun, you can tell me all about it when you get back. Oh, I'll give you a kiss, thank you. Mm, mm. I love you. Love you too. So Osprey Bay is all sanctuary zone. But we've only got to go about a kilometre that way up the beach to get out of the sanctuary zone. So I'm going to chuck the spear in, the kids and I are going to go on find us a nice little spot to ourselves and I'll jump in the drink, see if I can't find something to shoot. You and me stuck on the ocean now, nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up but two, just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here, all my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares well guys, I think we've just found heaven. Have a look at the colour of this sand, the colour of the water. Kids are already in having a swim. There was a little reef shark just swimming in here in the shallows. Actually, the camera won't pick him up, but I can see him just over there. There was a white-bellied eagle sitting up in this tree. I can see there's reef just out there that I'm going to be able to go out and have a bit of a snorkel over with the spear, see if I can't pick something up for dinner. Absolute paradise. What are you kids going to do? Well guys, the spearing mission was unsuccessful. Couldn't really find anything I wanted to shoot. Saw maybe one or two big spangled emperors that were of size, but they didn't really give me a chance. There's heaps and heaps of those little Spanish flags, but pretty sure all of those are undersized, so I didn't take a shot on any of them. So I think me and the kids will just sit here and enjoy paradise for the next hour or so. Hey kids, are you enjoying this spot? Isn't it incredible? Honestly. This is the Ningaloo in all its glory. Look at the, look at it, it's glass, it's blue, it's white sands. This place is incredible. Hi hon, how's work going? Done now. <laughs> Should I go wine? Shall we go down and 
sit down and check out Osprey Bay, look out at Osprey Bay and watch the sunset. I think I'd prefer my wine and my Yeti because I've got a neat trick. If you hang a tea wagon out of it, looks like you're just having a sneaky tea. <laughs> okay, I'll bring you your wine in a Yeti cup from now on. <laughs> so how was your day at work, honey? It was very, very hot. <laughs> Incredibly my morning hot. swim was amazing. And now we're going to do sunset, right? Yeah. Should be good. All that's left to do is have a few beverages and do sunset. Yeah. You go for a swim. Plenty of people still swimming. Yeah. Found a good spot there, darling. Oh, so much cooler down here. <laughs> and in the hot caravan. Yeah, so lovely. Well. Cheers, honey. Cheers, Thanks dear. for working so hard <laughs> in this heat. Oh, it's been unbearable. I think I got heat stroke yesterday. I know it's been a it's been tough. These temperatures are pretty extreme. I think we've it's done bad. it again. Yeah, we we <laughs> always take too long to travel places. Yeah. And um, end up being there when the season changes and when things get hot. It's actually officially the start of the um, off season here. Of the off season here <laughs> in the Ningaloo. So, and there's a reason because the flies come out and it's bloody hot and generally. It's windy, although I've got to say we've been incredibly lucky. We've yeah. had now, this is almost the second week of low winds. We've had a couple of windy days, but it's not been... The whole day, so it kind of dies off like mid-morning and then you can yeah, go out and Yeah, and look, today it. was incredible. That's why I, I um, ditched school with the kids and we just went <laughs> out and explored. I was like, I'm not losing this day, let's go out and enjoy it. And that's, I guess, the advantage of doing if they get ahead as well, like we can just do that. <laughs> yeah, they are ahead on their school. Well, Owen's up to date and Kaylee's ahead, so yeah, there's no dramas in us doing that. But yeah, I think we've got a few more bookings here in the Ningaloo. We've got like another two weeks here, but I think we're going to um, skip the other things that we had yeah, planned up in this bummer. kind of midsection of Western Australia, because I think we just need to get out of this heat, because we don't like to go into caravan parks and that's just a bit too expensive. Uh, generally, we don't like the vibe though. And saying that, Exmouth Caravan Park's really good. It depends on the caravan park and the place. And it's not every caravan park, yeah. but generally speaking. But yeah, we're probably gonna, um, what was I saying? We're probably going to ditch our plans ditch for our plans and Francois Peroni and Red Dirk Blatt Hartog and, and all those sort of places. And I think we're just gonna, we're gonna shoot south after the Ningaloo because <laughs> can't handle this heat. Yeah, no, it's unbearable on work days. <laughs> but at least the afternoons are nice. So I think we're just gonna sit back. Look watch, at the, watch the kids play. Look at the kids playing out there in the water, living their best lives. In you come, you feral animals, we gotta clean you up. <laughs> you filthy animals. Do you know? I don't know if you heard what they just said, but they said they wanna watch the sunset. Do you know I've watched more sunsets in two years of traveling than I watched previously in my whole life, which is quite <laughs> insane. Like, this life is really, it really is worth it. And there she goes. <laughs> All right, so in tonight's budget meals with Sveto Strippin, <laughs> we've had a really hard time trying to keep our budget low at the uh, two IGAs here in Exmouth. So we're just gonna be doing sausages, mash and peas. One thing they do do pretty well out there is their sausages. It's only, well, actually not sure how that works out. One's $5 and one's $9, but all up this meal is probably about $20, $25, which is a pretty good meal for a whole family. So I'm gonna cook this up. All right, sausage, mash, and peas. Are you hungry, boy? Yeah. Sausage, mash, and peas. Are you hungry, girl? Yes. You want to spread your... <laughs> Have you guys had the best day or what? Yeah. Yes, it was really, really good. <laughs> what about... much food they have. Like, they're just so as, much... as opposed to you. What about you, Mum? Have you had a good day? I've had a hot day, but a good day. <laughs> well, this is about the time that we would normally wrap up the video, but not tonight, because we've got some special nocturnal activities planned for after dinner. <laughs> and not those kind of nocturnal activities. <laughs> so, we're going to go and see if we can see some turtles laying eggs tonight on the beach. We've seen turtles mating on the beach. We've seen turtles hatching on the beach from back when we were in Heron Island, but we haven't seen turtles laying eggs. So we swam with go. turtles? We swam with turtles. Yes, that's true. We did swim with turtles. So we're just going to try our luck and see how we go. So we're all equipped with red lights because the red lights are not supposed to disturb the turtles and disorient them as much. Oh, we're going to find crabs. 
<laughs> you can just hear all the crabs running around, but that's not what we're looking for. We've already seen crabs. We want to try and find the turtles. Hey Mel, yeah? what have we found? I don't know. I don't know if they're like fresh or not. Yeah. Looks pretty fresh. Well, the first lot of tracks was a bit of a bust, but it was really exciting. <laughs> Try again, see if we have any more luck. Yeah, let's keep going for a little bit, see if we have any more luck. This looks like a new one, like a fresh one. Oh, nice and quiet. There's a turtle. There's a turtle nesting right there. Well, that was pretty freaking amazing! Oh my gosh! <laughs> bucket list achieved. We've now seen turtles laying eggs. We came across two nesting. One was in the throes of digging his hole, or her hole, I should say. <laughs> yeah, man. And the other one was putting her final touches, excavating her little egg nest, and we got to see her start laying. So that was pretty amazing. We've seen like the whole life cycle now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. Uh, we are going to wrap up this week's vlog here guys. Thank yep. you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you for the next adventure guys. Bye. Bye. We've had... We've... <laughs> Bugger it up. <laughs> totally ruined my vibe, <laughs> I was going to say. Now see me. I am one with the sand. Oh, no, I move. I move. Ah. <laughs> I've never seen so many crabs in my life. <laughs> the uh, the dunes are alive with the sounds of moving crabs. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this filling in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home. Oh